Money. Day one, right? Got to set up camp, camp fly, and hunt the same day, so kind of, kind of hang out. Yeah, we think we're gonna probably live right here, kind of in a big river bottom. But. Breakfast day one. What are we having here? Breakfast skillet, burritos, tortillas. <laughs> Doesn't look half bad, does it? Not bad. A bit of peak refuel and jet boil and some mission tortillas. It's the first day. We did exactly what we were told not to do. <laughs> we walked about two miles up river, just doing some calling with the bull magnet. Nice morning. What kind of tracks have we seen coming up the river here? At one point we had a grizz, wolf, and uh, moose within about five feet of each other, didn't we? Yeah. It's kind of funny. Pretty awesome, huh? A lot, of, a lot of wolf tracks. We might run into a wolf or two or three for sure. Moose track, bear track. Wolf track. Yeah, that's a front pod. Too bad, size 11 right there. What's it weigh, Wyatt? That'll weigh 35 pounds. <laughs> Let's see the burr on that sucker. Hold it up there. Jeez. Yeah, a little bit of mass there. Would you shoot him? Oh, probably not today. <laughs> Whatever, dude. We've been moaning in the trees for half a day. If something actually came out, yeah. we'd be pretty excited. No, I bet. That's pretty cool. Going down river tonight. Because the wind changed on us. We went up river this morning. And just keep calling and calling and calling and calling. Why well, I just started hollering, check this out. <laughs> oh, there's two of them there. <laughs> Is that the same bull we got at camp? Sure looks like him. There's another set. Off the same bull. Probably. Not a shooter. Cool, huh? Here we are, ending up day one. Sun's going down. Looks like the moose are gonna win today. They're very unresponsive to the calling and the raking, but hopefully that's gonna heat up and turn on here in the next few days. Day is it the fifth? Fifth. Fourth? Fifth of September. Something. Something. Tomorrow's another day. Yeah, gotta keep grinding. Can't glass, we just call. Arch, what's our morning plan here, day two? We're just gonna hang tight. Call, call, call. That's what we decided to do. Right here, so long See it over there. Got, I don't know, a couple hundred yards of visibility either way of us. Been kind of slow, so we're just gonna hope something works this river into us. Well, what? Day two. Day two, here we are. In the middle of the day, 50 mile an hour wind gusts out there. Not gonna be doing a lot of hunting, probably. Our calls were not much very effective. No, still, still too early for calling, probably. Yeah, we're just making some cereal. Had some Viennas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not much else to do here. Reading books. Yeah, reading some books. Just sitting here. Had to restake down the tent so it didn't blow away. Pretty crazy. Yeah, I think we're pretty solid, though. We'll be in here for a bit. 
guys are telling us that it's supposed to be severe winds for the next 24 hours. We might be in here a minute. Yeah. Maybe till tomorrow. This time. Maybe. That'd be 24 hours. That's a long time. All right. Well, Wyatt. Still here. <laughs> been, been 11 hours all later. Yeah, all day up there, all this wind. My feet are just lifting off the ground in this tent. It's been holding up like a champ in this wind. About to get dark here soon and yeah, hopefully it all calms down. Have to wake up in the night and check it every now and again, make sure our stakes are still down and stuff isn't flying off of here because if we lose our rain protector we're in trouble. Arch. How did we survive that windstorm last night? We just laid there and hoped for the best. I guess we did get up once and stake down some more things and reinforce some stuff, but we figured we used every stake we had. The only thing we didn't do is tie it off to a tree <laughs> with some cordage. Altogether, it, it fared pretty well for, they said, 70 plus mile an hour winds. It was supposed to go on until this afternoon, right? Yeah. But it's sun's peeking through right now and we got a little window so we're going to go make some noise. See what happens. Let's see, it is day three, September 7th, right? Six, I think. Seventh. Is it? What? Monday, September 7th. Can we just go down here and just sit and help get the wind right and see if we can see anything else come up this rope into trail? Nice shot, dude. That was fast, wasn't it? Uh, dude, I put it right on his shoulder. Dude, you've hammered him. Dude. He looked ginormous. I didn't want to give him a second. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't shaken like this in a long time. I think you did good, my friend. But we just seen him come out from that yellow bush, dude. Just a flash of antler, we couldn't stop him. He covered like 100 yards in 10 seconds. Look how big that thing is. Dude. Oh my gosh, Wyatt. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What are we doing? Got it. Pack of meat. A little wobbly. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see that hind quarter or front quarter turn around. Wow, that's a chunk of meat. Come on. <laughs> Nothing like eating lunch on a moose paddle, huh? We got peanut butter belly, peanut butter and jelly bagels, a Wyatt Bowls special. I stole one from Schaefer, actually. Oh, really? No. Peanut butter is supposed to be good for you. A lot of protein. How many times we walked up and down this river? Too many. I don't know if you can see, but we got a lot of meat hung over there. We got two more trips to go. Head and cape. And then equipment run. Getting close. Last trip. Nightlife in Alaska. Pretty wild, huh, Wyatt? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Reading a book, oil and guns, Chips Ahoy, we about ate that whole bag. I've read that book already, Wyatt's reading the next one. Yep, cooking some dinner.
Well, Dev, moose number one's out of here. He's a little heavier going down that time, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. yeah. My turn. Moose number two. Got a, a lot of days to get it done, but hopefully we don't use them all up. Ten days. And we've been here seven? Jeez, that's almost... That's... A lot of moose hunting. <laughs> we've seen three bulls in seven days. And that's one of them. <laughs> there he goes. Some mi migration corridor works. We're been camped right there. Yeah, not not too far. The so the rut's just picking up, and we'll be hunting this river tonight. Here. What day is it? Why? How many days have we been here? I don't even know. Legs hurt, back hurt. Um, we're just gonna do the exact same thing. Go call, 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 rake. White's got a bone on his back and breaks with him. We'll read a book and see if it happens again. Sounds like a plan. Yep, it's getting cold. We've raked so much we broke our scapula. Mm, kind of doing one down. <laughs> it's been a good scapula. Yeah, it has. Even though it didn't call a single moose in. Yeah. Anyways. The results are a little different today. We're trying. Well, been sitting here since seven, it's about one. I guess I just ran like quarter of a mile. I just shot a white wolf. I barely curled past this bush. And uh, I hit him good the first time, he was spinning, but I tried to hit him again. And he was just moving too much, I think I missed, and he busted left hard, so. Freaking awesome! It beats coyotes any day. We've been sitting at camp since, well, first light, just sitting there sunbathing. The sun's out, and White killed his bull about, well, it's 300 yards down there, and uh, I look up and saw a flash of white, and I thought it was a palm of a bull. Throughout my, my 15s, I could see the hind, court, hind end of the wolf, white, pure white. So I ran, put my boots on, <laughs> snuck through the trees, hit that bush right there, and uh, just, he, he was, he had his butt to me. So I got to right here, this next bush, and just hammered him. At, I, I couldn't get a range. I ranged these trees to the left of him at 305. So I put it 320 and just laid down and let him have it. And then he just spun, and I shot again and missed. And then he just took off. And so Wyatt said he's dead in the creek. <laughs> We're gonna go find it, buddy. What we got? White fang. Dead in the creek. Kind of see a little bit of him. Lifelong dream of Devin's here to kill a wolf. And he pulled it off today. So far with no success. <laughs> At least it's been sunny and warm. Yeah, I'm a little sunburned today. Been out here all day because we don't want to miss one crossing this river. Anyways, we're still alive.
Archibald, Ugh. what just happened? They don't give us enough time. We just killed the bull, finally. We haven't seen a bull in eight days, seven. Dude, oh. he's got awesome fronts. I know, bunches it's of cool. fronts. Uh, they're long. His, his back aren't as big, but his fronts are freaking cool. Yeah, he's got long paddles, though. Yeah. Way long paddles. Oh. We're done. Give me a hug, dude. We're done. <laughs> oh, Just killed my moose. Come out clear over on that tree line, rake that bush for a minute. And like three steps later, he's right here. I only had another 10 yards, he'd have been out of my, I couldn't, wouldn't have been able to see him anymore. So I wanted a bull with cool fronts and I think I got one. So pretty pumped. Been a grind, hasn't it, what? Thought we were gonna go insane a couple times. At least I did. Camp, right there. <laughs> Wyatt's bull, carcass, right there. I don't. I think we did pretty good. Took some time, but we got her. This is the last Alaska moose hind quarter I ever have to back. Why that somewhere over there? We're not even that far from camp, and it's just terrible. Giant. Well, this concludes our uh, moose hunt. Me and White Bulls with. Uh, Big thanks to Aaron DeRose with Dillon River Outfitters. The guy's a man. He landed us right here. We set up camp and he told us to be patient and it's hard. <laughs> but he, he nailed it. He said they'll show up just like that. So we caught Wyatt's migrating through and then waited about a week and the bull started to turn on today. So appreciate Aaron. Dillon River Outfitters, awesome job. Appreciate it.